Hey guys, today I'm at Shibuya Station. It's one of the worst season to visit Japan, which is Obon. I mean, the worst season to visit to Japan for travel. Obon is one of the biggest holiday in Japan, so that's why, as you see, so many people here. And also, summer vacation has started. Now I'm heading to the Hachiko exit, one of the most popular intersections in Japan. If you are coming from Osaka Metro, take exit number 8. You see the dog sign, right? Yeah, that's the way to go to the Hachiko. I heard there is a new 3D mapping show and that big display over there. The display starts from 3 p.m. Still, we have 12 minutes to go. Kinda excited. By the way, beautiful day. For those of you who don't know about the Hachiko, that's Hachiko, one of the most popular dog, Akitainu. He's kind of symbol of Shibuya, so many people are taking a photo over here. This place used to be a big green bus, but now it became Shibu Hachi Box. Also, in front of the Hachiko, there is a big construction. This place will be changed, as you see. Yeah, they are breaking the old one and uh, building the something new. Kind of excited for the future Shibuya. All right, it should be starting in five seconds. Three, two, one, go. Oh yeah, that's the one. Over there. <laughs> so cute. Also, there is a display over there. That one as well. Six displays playing that Hachiko dog. Oh, wait. Is that it? No, I thought it would be more. <laughs> well, that was much shorter than what I told, but it's okay. It was fun. Anyway, let me show you guys how the town looks like. I'm planning to walk in from Shibuya, Harajuku to Shinjuku because there is a new 3D show in Shinjuku as well. So hope I can show you guys as well. Hope you guys enjoy that. Oh, by the way, hey guys, welcome back to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan Seno. Yeah. Please don't forget to check my Instagram and Twitter account. So let's keep walking. Let's go. So that's the business intersection in Japan. Shibuya crossing. Compared to before, so many students here. It's because of the summer break started in Japan. That's the reason why. However, compared to several years ago, still less because we don't have travelers yet. Hmm. This is the main street of Shibuya called Shibuya Sentagai, also called the Basketball Street. Huh, much less people compared to what I thought. I thought this place would be super crowded in the small break. Well, maybe you feel like that's a lot of people, but compared to before, still less. There will be so many people in Harajuku though. Now we are heading to Miyashita Koen, which is the Miyashita Park. Park in Japanese is Koen Koen. So if you are looking for the park, you can ask people. Koen doko desu ka? Koen doko desu ka? The best way, going to the Miyashita Park. Firstly, go to the center street and turn right. Well, that's not the fastest way, but uh, you can enjoy this magical tunnel going to the Miyashita Park. <laughs> As you see, there are so many grafties in the bicycle. Don't you feel like it's Shibuya? Unfortunately, this is a young culture city, so you will see so many graffitis. But uh, it is illegal, so don't do it in Japan. Definitely don't do it. If you love drinking, that's a really small street that you can enjoy drinking. There are so many small bars. 
It is closing now, but in the night time, this old tiny stores are open and you can enjoy this small bar. And here we go. This is Miyashita Park. Well, it's technically not a park. It's more like a shopping mall. But uh, as you see, on top, there is a skateboard court, park, Starbucks, water in so many places, and also Mamme Beach as well. Well, there is no water, but uh, well, you can still enjoy beach volleyball. This is a shopping mall park. There is a skateboard stores, also cafe, and bookstores, plus clothes stores. So you can play and shop. <laughs> Rainbow Panda here. And uh, oh, One Piece. Oh, seems like they have a One Piece event. Let's go to check. Big treasure box and so many One Piece. Manga. Yeah, they have a new movie around, so. So is it real gold? <laughs> of course not. It's cool. And what is that? It's a gachapon? Oh, so you know what? I just realized that's a gachapon. There is a pin batteries inside the cup cell. Cool. <laughs> And also, each time, they clean it up. Hmm. Very nice. So I guess that's what it is. Oh, now I realize. So maybe those pictures in the pin badges. Well, unfortunately, I can't play it because we need a ticket to play. Bad. It's okay. Who is your favorite character? Oh, Sabo, Shanks, or maybe Lo? Oh, and this is a trash can for the cup's hell. <laughs> nice. That's the food court of Miyashita Park. They have many different kinds of American fast food. Taco Bell. Panda Express, McDonald's, and sushi, ramen. By the way, we don't have much panda in Japan. If you miss panda in Japan, you can eat it over here. It's kind of hard to find in Japan. Also, if you want to eat outside, you can sit down here and you can look down Sibiya Town. It sounds fun, right? Huh, I love it. And here we go. This is the top floor of Miyashita Park. Oh, much less. Usually this place is super crowded, so you can't really sit down at the benches, but uh, yeah, pretty much empty. Yeah, I can't believe. This is the beach I was talking about. Yeah, no waters, but there is a beach. Well, you can't use it for freely. You need to make a reservation and I think you have to pay money to use it. But sometimes there are events and it seems like they are having fun. Also, there is a bouldering place and a skateboard park. The price is... Wow, 500 Japanese yen for 2 hours for adult and for kids, 240 Japanese yen. Oh, that's pretty cheap compared to other places. I didn't know that. Nice. Uh, if you want to use that bouldering, you have to come to this Miyashita Park Center, which is in the middle, and uh, you can ask for it. Oh my goodness, it's so hard. Let's eat ice cream. Oh, by the way, you see that? That's the sign of the shaved ice cream. Kori meaning ice. Yeah, really traditional Japanese sign. Seems like they have shaved ice cream. Let me see. Oh, really? <laughs> this mango wine cost 980 Japanese yen for shaved ice cream? Oh my goodness, wow. That's definitely a Shibuya price. Let me find something else. Oh, I want the gohan here. 
Oh well, forget about the shaped ice cream. <laughs> you know, why don't we get the beer and something to eat? I think that's better. Okay, so let's eat here. So those are the menu items. This plate called obon, obon in Japanese. So this place concept is obon de gohan, meaning, you know, gohan on the plate. Well, there are so many healthy food if you want to eat, but uh, if you want to drink, they have like a izakaya style. They have many kinds of food and beer. Sweet. So here, waitress don't take an order. Uh, you can order by the mobile. It is advanced. So they have seats outside. Today I ordered Otsumami Torotaku, Shittori Yodari and a beer. The price is all together about 2000 Japanese yen, so it's about that shaving ice cream price. <laughs> well, compared to other places, maybe it's a bit expensive, but uh, yeah, why not? Alright, here we go. The food has arrived. As you see, that's on the plate. It's on obon. Obon. You guys got it. And uh, time for beer. Yep. <laughs> Definitely. For me, maybe better than shaved ice cream. Come <laughs> back. Ah. Loving it. Psycho. So this one called the Yodare Dori. The spicy sauce on top. It's one of my favorite otsumami. Otsumami is a food with beer. One of my favorite otsumami. It's a little bit spicy, but perfect with beer. Itadakimasu. <laughs> there is a chicken, it's really soft, and a green onion on top. Well, it looks super spicy, but it's not as look as spicy. If you are looking forward to really spicy food, maybe this is not the one. However, if you are looking for some a little spiciness and also the really nice flavor of the sesame oil. Is it sesame oil? <laughs> I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, this is a food that you are looking for. You know, in a hot summer day, <laughs> hearing the sound of cicadas, perfect. <laughs> I know some people don't like the sound of cicadas, but uh, for me, you know, that's the sound that makes me remind of the summer, so I love that. So the speaking of the COVID situation in Japan, as you see, there are so many people because this time, even there are so many cases. However, Japanese government didn't ask for the state of emergency. So that means we can go out freely. That's the reason why there are so many people. And um, I think that's the sign Japan is getting ready opening the border for tourists. So now it's kind of the peak of the COVID number of cases. However, it will get better and then they will start the go to travel promotion for domestic travel. I think that's the first sign. And then finally the government will open Japan border for tourists. That's what I believe. So I am looking forward to the about autumn or before winter. Yeah. I believe so. You know, my optimistic guess, so no guarantee. I really hope I can comply with you guys. Hmm. Ah, psycho. And the next one, it's Otsumami Torotaku. Well, Toro is a tuna. You know, the fatty part of tuna. I believe you guys hear it at the sushi restaurant. And also Taku is the Takuan with pickled rice, something yellow one here. So this is how you eat it. There is a seaweed. Just place the avocado and the torotaku. Oh, there is cucumber too. And place it on top. By the way, this egg is a flying fish egg. Tobiko, really popular food in Japan. And uh, just make it like a sushi. Dip it into the soy sauce and eat. Itadakimasu. <laughs> you know the fatty tuna? 
with fuzzy apple kettle, perfectly matches with this cucumber and the takuam, the pickled radish. I love eating the avocado with soy sauce, but uh, this torotaku, one of the best. Mm. Well, so all together, price is about 2,000 Japanese yen. Which would you prefer? Shaved ice cream or this beer with otsumami? Let me know in the comment down below. <laughs> for me, well, depends on the situation, but for now, yeah, <laughs> wanna come by. But uh, after eating shaved ice cream, you will never know. You know, usually those kind of expensive shaved ice cream taste different. And then whenever after I eat it, I feel like it's worth it. Yeah, it is worth it. Trust me. If you haven't tried once, then you gotta try it at least once. Yeah, you gotta give it a try. Ooh, that was pretty good. I love they have the terrace seed. Okay, so let me pay and uh, let's explore more. So all together, price is 1,840 Japanese yen. Yep, not bad. Sweet. Let's keep walking. Heading to Harajuku and Omote Sando. Keep straight this way, not that far. Oh, look at that! The day sunflowers. Let's go to check. Sweet. Haven't seen sunflower this season yet. Uh, Wow! <laughs> it's almost gone though. Sunflowers and the sound of cicadas. Japan summer is here. I know you guys can't come over here, so hope you guys enjoy that. Now I'm a full-time YouTuber, but before I used to work for a Japanese company and then I used to live in Shibuya. Whenever I have a spare time, I walk this street to go to Omote Sando. There is a Yoyogi Park over there too, which is a really big park in Shibuya. Yeah, that place wasn't that far, about 10 minutes walking from my apartment and a uh, really nice place to relax. So uh, I usually go there with coffee and uh, take a walk. By the way, take a walk in Japanese called the Sampo. Sampo. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. There's Super Mario block. We arrived to the intersection of Omote Sando. If you go that way, there is a really popular Apple store and a fancy shopping street. As you see, so many people over there. And if you walk this way, you will get to the Harajuku, really popular Takeshita street. And that's a Tokyo Plaza, one of the coolest buildings in Japan. Let me show you guys. Those mirrors, really cool photo spot. And also on top, you can see the beautiful view of Omote Sando. <laughs> I can't find myself. So many mirrors. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's the cam I use. Just going up the stairs, and there's Starbucks coffee. And here we go. That's the square. Oh. Oh, I have to push it. <laughs> okay. I thought uh, it will automatically turn, but uh, seems like this one doesn't. Anyway, really peaceful. Wow, more people here though. And you can see the street from here. Let's see. By the way, there is a gold gym over there. If you want to work out, looking down the street, there is a gym that you want to go. There is a treadmill, really cool. You can work out. After get out the building, just keep straight and you can get to the Harajuku. By the way, this is the trash can. It's a solar panel and whenever it gets full, they automatically let the company know and they can pick up the trash. Well, <laughs> you find it really cool trash over here. However, trust me, it is really tough to find a trash can in Japan. And here we go. Let's go. We arrived to Harajuku station. 
That's the station. The new gate. There is an old gate over there. Probably the old gate is more familiar. New gate is closer to Meiji Jingu. Really popular shrine over there. And the uh, iconic street, Takeshita Street, is that way. This place is changing too. This IKEA is pretty new. Before, we didn't have IKEA. And also, Uniqlo? Or uh, maybe we have Uniqlo, I don't know. Uh, I feel like it's new though. I don't really come over Harajuku often, so not sure about the Uniqlo. But anyway, there are so many new things. Speaking of Harajuku, take a guess what kind of art it is. The answer is, that's the ad to let people know you have to change the password all the time for your security. <laughs> the ad targeting for young people, so Harajuku. But uh, it is really important to change the password. You know, internet security is really important. So if you haven't, you need to change the password all the time. And that's the old entrance of Harajuku. I think it's really familiar if you have visited Harajuku before. In front of the station entrance, there is a Takeshita Street. One of the busiest and the most popular street for young adults. Now Jurassic World is on the cinema. They have a collab over here. Now we are heading to Shinjuku, which is two stations away. Well, you can walk. It's a definitely walking distance, but uh, today let's take train. We are just coming over from Shibuya. If you want to go back to Shibuya, you have to take the line number one, and if you want to go to Shinjuku, line number two. Yep, Shinjuku station over here, Ikebukuro here. Oh, seems like it's right on time. Let's catch this train. We arrived to Shinjuku now. We are heading to the east exit. This way. Have you guys seen the 3D cat in Shinjuku? Which is really popular display. They have a new one right now with the Pokemon Go. I heard it's really cute. It's starting from yesterday. Limited version. So I want to share that one too. From Harajuku to Shinjuku, first 136 Japanese yen. By the way, Shinjuku is the busiest station in the world. Yes, in the world. You know, so many population in Japan, especially in Tokyo, so no wonder. This is Midori no Madoguchi ticket office. Whenever you want to buy the JR train pass, Shinkansen ticket, or JR rail pass, you always have to come over here and you can get one. That Midori no Madoguchi is everywhere in a big JR station, so it doesn't have to be in Shinjuku, but it has to be in big station. And the east exit is just over there. Oh, that's the PCR check place. Free! Uh, you can check the COVID everywhere for free now in Tokyo and uh, relatively less time. And uh, yeah, that's the display of the 3D cat. Also Pokemon Go too. Hopefully, we don't have to wait that long. Let's wait. Oh, it's sturdy. That was really quick.
All people watching it, <laughs> and three D cat is behind. Yep, that's a really popular intersection of Shinjuku. If you keep straight, you will get to the Kabukicho Godzilla Road. And that's something new in Shinjuku. Before, this place used to be a fruit store. I think many people bought their fruits here, but now it became a yatai. Izakaya style yatai. Wow. Really cool. Not so many people now, but uh, I believe after the pandemic is over, we'll be full. Especially by the traveler, I believe. Just keep straight, you will get to the Godzilla Street. And here we go. This is the Kabukicho Center Street, Godzilla Street. And now they have a Jurassic World. Oh, they have IMAX 3D, 4D version 2. Oh, I want to watch 4D. I think the price was pretty expensive. Cost like 3,000, 4,000 Japanese yen. But uh, it's so real and uh, I want to watch it in the cinema. So, yeah, probably I will go watch it the 4D one. I will let you guys know if it's good. By the way, Kabukicho doesn't change much. Uh, compared to before, I think they are more towed, but uh, yeah, nothing changed. Hopefully travelers come back here so that they, I think this place will be safer. That's what I believe. Godzilla beer. Go. <laughs> And also, I think this is something new. It's Omoide Yokocho. Really tiny drinking street. It's really cool. However, somehow, recently, it kind of gets strict about the filming. Uh, the one amazing thing is that uh, you have to pay money, 30,000 Japanese yen per 30 minutes. <laughs> That's expensive. Wow. Yeah, that's something new about the Omoide Yokocho. So, I don't think that's a good idea to photo or to film. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> now, I'm in West Perth of Shinjuku. West Perth of Shinjuku, there are many tall office buildings. Oh my goodness, look at the sunset. Really beautiful. So happy that I could share. Anyway. I'm heading to the park now. Ooh, all right. The Shinjuku Chuo Park is almost there. It's here. We are here. And uh, Shinjuku Station is over here. So halfway there. Let's keep walking. By the way, I found something artistic here. Well, uh, it's not something artistic. This is a uh, very Easy understanding artistic. Yeah. The title, what's the title? It's uh, Taiwa. Taiwa meaning conversation. Interesting. Anyway, so almost there. Let's keep walking. Let's go. Oh, small trivia. That's the Tokyo Metropolitan Government building. And uh, over there on top, Observatory, you can enter it for free and also there is a free piano, street piano or something. So if you want to enjoy the view, you can always visit there. But uh, there is a time that they open. I think it's not that long compared to Tokyo Tower or Skytree. So before visiting there, you have to check their website. Alright, sweet. Finally, yes, it's there. Feels like a little bit far. I think it's because of the heat. Uh, now we have a really nice wind, so much better though. But uh, I sweat a lot already. We used to see so many people playing bowls and also practice dancing, having fun here. But uh, 
now it's closed. <laughs> I was thinking of sitting down there and、uh, film it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Still, there is a space. Oh, sorry. Because of so many cicadas, this place is kind of noisy, but hopefully, you guys can hear me well. All right, I think this angle is good enough. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, hopefully, you guys could see Japan situation right now. And also, I know still travelers can't enter Japan, so hopefully, you could virtual travel to Japan through this video. Those seasons called Obon, starting from this week to end of next week. Yeah, there will be so many people. Yeah, this season, it's hot and everywhere will be crowded. So, Uh, you can wait until the September. Yeah. Big thank you to all of the Patreons. Because of you guys' support, I can keep traveling. Arigato! Finally, permanent financial stuff finishing.、Uh, I will give you guys a room tour. And also, after that, I'm planning to travel all over Japan and foreign c o u n t r y as well. I will make a travel vlog. So, if you want to join the adventure, please, please, please don't forget to. Subscribe and、uh, also, if you enjoy this virtual tour, please hit the like button for this video so that I can know people like this. You know, sometimes it's really hard to choose a topic, so that would help me. You know, if you like the video, please hit the like button, then you know, I can keep making those kind of videos or series. So, a r i g a t o Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So, see you in the next video. See you next i m e Have a great day. Bye bye. Oh! That's the sound. Let the people know. Time to go home. Especially for kids.、Uh, yeah, I think. It's time to go home. <laughs> anyway, so see you in the next video. Have a great day. <laughs>